all know that I recently moved to Houston and thank you so much for your kind words, thoughts, and prayers after Hurricane Harvey. And it is rough around here, but I'm blessed to have my health and my strength and I'm hoping to soon be able to give back to those that do not. So again, thank you so much for the love and please keep sending your thoughts and your prayers and keep Houston on your mind. What's up y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina. And today I'm hoping to come at you with some wonderful quick life hacks that I've used throughout my 108 pound weight loss and also to keep it off flawlessly for over 11 years. I'm hoping that these things are easy for you because you know I live by that good old kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. You gotta keep it simple in order for you to stay interested and for you to stay on your track. It seems like the moment we get a little too extra with the game, we end up getting a little disinterested. And I know that's how it works for me personally. These ain't your typical lose weight quick tips. This is all about keeping it off and living a good lifestyle. I hope to serve a lot of motivation in today's video and give you these quick life hacks. Every item I show you in today's video can be found down below in the information section. And if there's anything that you're using right now that you're really enjoying, share that with us down below in the comments. But while I have you, make sure that you comment, share, and also subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads. Also make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you guys to do is to make sure you're getting more sleep. Getting more sleep not only just helps your body rejuvenate, but it also keeps your butt out of the refrigerator. Of course, you should be trying to get at least eight hours of sleep a night. I know it doesn't always work, but try to aim for it. Not only are you not in the refrigerator during this time, but you can dream about food and that's calorie free. Number two is to sleep in your workout clothes. What? Sleeping in your workout clothes is excellent practice. Sleeping in my workout clothes gives a lazy girl no excuse. When I get up, I realize what I have on and what must be done. I work out first thing in the morning and it gives me few excuses later on in the day. If you don't sleep in your workout clothes, at least prep them. When I prep my workout clothes, I'm more likely to work out because it's easy and I have no excuse but to look at them, put them on, and go work out. The next one is to watch your favorite show while you're working out. Ratchet TV Mondays, anybody? This method works especially well for weightlifting sessions I do at home. They are clowning on love and hip hop today. Girl, say it ain't so. Speaking of workouts, make them things short and fun. When you're bored, you're not gonna wanna keep doing it. So you wanna make it fun because it's gonna make it something that seems exciting. Therefore, you're more likely to continue to engage it. I've shown you guys some of my favorite workout DVDs that I keep in the house which is a lazy girl's best friend and also my daily burn app which I love short workouts quick effective to the point you see this one's 13 minutes and you burn 389 calories where they do that at? the next thing is to move while texting or talking on the phone you can decide to go on a whole long walk while you do this or you can just stay in your house and when you're texting or talking on the phone walk back and forth keep moving keep that energy generating and it's a lazy way to do it because you're gonna be on the phone anyway and that goes for not only talking or texting get up get your vacuum cleaner vacuum the house wash the windows when I can't get out that's how I move and burn my calories now one thing you know about your girl Dr. Nina is I love to get some crunk in my system so when it comes to my exercise playlist I've shared it with you guys before on Spotify I'm gonna get it Till we get in. Yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot. Chevy it tuned up like a NASCAR pit stop. I'ma be up in the May list flicks. Doing one headed flips. And I'ma be sipping on trickers. I'ma be taking them flicks. Looking all flying. Check out the link down below. If you have good music, you keep going. You gonna get lit to the music you love anyway. Why not incorporate a little bit of exercise with a good old playlist? I know a lot of people will tell you to make sure you check yourself in your clothes periodically. I also like to look at my old clothes and see where I've been. It keeps my mind on track. It keeps me thinking about where I've been and where I don't want to go back to. So while you still checking on the things that you can wear now, check on the things you used to wear because it keeps you motivated to keep you from going back to that place. Engage in routine food prep and make sure you keep the same days and times that you do it. For me, it's a habit to Sunday nights, put aside some time to prep some food for the week. And it only takes you 17 times to do something for it to become a habit. Habit. Set aside your time to make sure that you're preparing your food and you'll keep on doing that weekly. If you plan your snacks, you're less likely to eat things that you shouldn't have. I try to make sure that I have snacks that are easy to have on hand, that I don't really have to prepare, that give me less of an excuse to reach for something that's not too good for me, that also provides me 
happy with some good nutrients. Speaking of those snacks, you're more likely to make better decisions if you eat in the afternoon as opposed to your mid morning or late at night. Then you'll think more clearly about what you'll have to eat later on in the day. Eat veggies on your plate first and then everything else is after. If you get full off veggies first, you've had less fat, less salt, less sugar, less calories. And then again, you might leave some food because you might be full off your vegetables. The cut your fat content with Greek yogurt. You all have seen in several of my meal prep videos where I use Greek yogurt instead of salad dressing as a topping for food that I'm having or even as sour cream. Greek yogurt is full of protein and nutrients that you can use and also it's pretty dang tasty. Want a cookie or a brownie? Eat a cookie or a brownie. Just don't eat three. Try cutting your sweets in half and putting them in little baggies and putting them away. You separate them, you know what a serving is and you'll only have that amount. Get a slow cooker. I can throw vegetables, lean meats, or even a vegetarian type stew together really quickly. Cook it overnight or cook it during the day and I have something to eat on for the whole week. Slow cookers are a great investment and most of them are pretty cheap to boot. When I drink water, it keeps my mind off of food a little bit more. And also, I have less room to eat more food. Drink water when you're thinking about food a little bit too much, especially if you just ate and you decide you hungry again, go drink your butt some water. Make sure that you brush your teeth right after dinner. A lot of times we think that we're hungry, but because the remnants of food are left in our mouth, it just makes us want food more. If you brush your teeth and then you wanna go get something to eat, a lot of times it tastes nasty. And then a lot of times too, you just don't wanna have to brush your teeth twice. So sometimes when I wanna just stop eating, I just brush my teeth, cut it all off real quick. So I wanna thank you guys for watching today and I hope that these life hacks for my lazy girls and guys have been very beneficial. If you have any comments, suggestions, or even questions, write them down below. I usually try to get to as many of you guys as I can. Thanks so much for watching today. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.